Welcome back to the channel guys. It has been over one year and we are finally on a holiday. I mean COVID just messed up so many plans. Looks like it's not ending anytime soon. Well hopefully with the vaccine rollout we can start traveling again. But it feels so nice to be out on a holiday. I mean even though it's a short holiday just being out of the house can make such a big difference. I mean just have a look at this view. It is absolutely beautiful. So the whole night I was trying to sleep and there was just some scratching noise going on somewhere in the house and I couldn't figure it out and it was so annoying and then I wake up this morning to have a cup of coffee and I see a mouse on top of the bread tin trying to eat my chocolate cookie. I mean damn mouse can you believe it i mean the whole night this thing was scratching biting through this foil that wrapped the cookie and i mean i was saving a cookie for this morning to have with my coffee and the chocolate cookie is gone i had to throw it away well what was left of it damn it anyways it is a beautiful day we are in the free state here in south africa i mean it doesn't get better than this the mornings is so beautiful i mean i can actually see the Drakensberg mountains from here it is too nice it is also very cold i mean we are just ending off our winter here in south africa it tells me it's around three degrees here which is not too bad compared to johannesburg in the past week but it is still nice and cold i mean my hands are frozen and i probably need a second cup of coffee so we arrived in yesterday and it was so nice and sunny got out a couple bottles of wine drank that watched the sunset lit a fire inside the house got that burning and then fell off to sleep i mean the wine really knocked me last night nothing too hectic today we plan on going on a short boat cruise they say you can bring your own snacks so that's a big plus and your own drinks so the wine is definitely coming so hopefully it's a nice sunny day out on the boat in the middle of the dam i mean it doesn't get better than that coming from a busy town like johannesburg it's just traffic people noise let me show you something this is too nice let's take a lovely walk to the dam the countryside open land socks and sandals so we are staying around there it is a six sleeper it's just the two of us unfortunately it's during the week so i had to take some leave to get here and there are some good specials midweek so we took advantage of that and now we are in the beautiful countryside it is absolutely beautiful i mean it doesn't get better than this being out in nature i mean you have to have a good reset and get away from that busy life oh my god i mean all you can see is vast land i mean it just stretches across the whole clarence drakensberg area so hopefully today is a sunny day i can see the sun coming up in the back there so it is still winter it is freezing it is around three degrees here i mean whew, my fingers are frozen the next time we will come here for a week at least because man there is so many activities to do here i mean so many aerobics in here so many activities do step class it's making my head spin how many activities we can do especially during the summer the amount of water sports that you can do there's also hikes that you can go look at the bushman's painting i mean it's taking in the history of south africa so i'm gonna head up back inside the house and i'll meet you on that boat
that was one hour of wine and cheese tomorrow we have a speedboat and we're taking our four-legged friend so i have not flown my drone for over a year and today we're taking this baby out so as you can see it is quite damaged i mean i've flown this thing into trees into walls but it's a dji so it's going to make it and i am so tipsy because i had like two bottles of wine well obviously not myself but with the missus and i'm going to fly this while the sun is setting and it's going to look so good let's test this baby out too nice 10 9 ignition sequence starts Six, five. Now it is time to have a braai, which is a barbecue in South Africa. Let's get that fire started. Guys, just look at this view. I mean, it is absolutely beautiful. God damn. Put this ISO up a little bit high. It's gonna look grainy, but I mean, it's one of those things. So I've not used a fire starter before, but this baby, is the first time so let's throw in some coal man i drank too much of wine it's so cold and my hands is so numb i cannot even feel anything why 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 charcoal in so they say stick some paper at the bottom maybe that needs to go inside let's just use a bloody fire lighter i mean this is so easy let's quickly put this under like that like this baby okay hopefully that does the trick hello Borky where is he boy hello 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 boom booms it's too dark I will see you tomorrow it is day three and it is freezing cold Whew. i think it's like around three degrees here i mean just have a look at this i cannot even feel my fingers Whew. i've been using this fire starter works really well i mean you don't need to stand there and keep fanning your coal or wood this is quite simple all you need to do is take some paper towel fire lighter let's wrap that in this paper towel and then place it inside I'm using this Goodwood blocks this is a kind of a ozone friendly wood made from sawdust so this is the company Goodwood I mean it doesn't get as hot as normal wood or oak or whatever you're using to start your fire but there is less smoke I mean it is recyclable so why not get this baby into smaller pieces so this is what it looks like like a nice chocolate block and it's so easy it just breaks off i mean look at that and then just place that over your paper towel sounds like a fire started tutorial okay so as you can see let's light this baby up so you just need to find the paper towel and there we go it is that easy let this burn for some time and then simply throw it into your fire pit it's burning quite nicely that's why i love these fire starters Whew, it is cold anyways 
back to the vlog. I'm so sad that we're leaving this place because this view behind me, it is incredible. I mean, look at that. This massive dam is just covered in fog. <sighs> Too nice. Anyways, yesterday we went on a barge cruise, which is this flat boats. And the guy was giving us a tour around the dam, explaining certain mountains. And because we are very close to the Drakensberg Mountains, there's a lot of history in this area. One thing he mentioned, there were a lot of snakes around here. I mean, I walked down here yesterday through this bush. The guy said that there were snakes around here. And I mean, I was like a year old walking down to look at the water, not realizing that I'm with bloody socks and sandals. And he was telling me there's a lot of puff adders around here. That socks and sandals was not going to save me. I mean, you don't want to come across a puff adder. So I'm definitely not walking down that bush again. But overall, it is just nice to be in nature, in the countryside. Coming here, having a hard reset on life is absolutely important. Especially during this COVID time. There's too much of stress, anxiety, and all these kinds of things that can alter your mindset. And you really don't want that in your life. So it's so important to step back take a break, take a hard reset, look at your goals, look at your long-term goals and how well you are tracking. So that is so important to me and I'm sure for a lot of you as well. So don't forget drinking some good wine. I mean, no pressure, no stress, relax and drink some good wine. But most importantly, it was Olaf's first holiday. I mean, there are not much pet-friendly places out there that has these kind of views. I mean, doesn't get better than this and since he was cooped up in a house for over a year we decided to bring him on this trip and today we have a speedboat that will be taking him around the dam so he will be so excited because he loves throwing his head out of the window in the car he just loves that wind on his face so with the speedboat today it's going to be too nice now we are talking so, I will see you on the speedboat. Olafi! Damn, damn, damn. Look at this view. You're going for a boat ride. You're coming. Let's go. Come. Come, boy. Time for some speedboat. Hmm? Good. Good boys. Good boys go on nice things. Yeah. The good boys, they go on nice boat ride. Good boys, good boys go on, mighty ride. falling off to sleep. He was a bit scared at first, but he's fine now. We done! We done! Good boy! And that was the end of the trip. It's too nice. I'll see you on the next one.